Okay, what well, I've done, um, I've got this uh, kind of under stand, under workbench storage box, um, and the, the actual item was inspired by Matthias Wandel's underbed storage, and um, I found some roller skates and um, put the put the roller skate on wheels underneath it and, and built this. Um, it, it was basically an experiment project. Um, I I dovetailed the, um, the corners with varying success. Um, some of them turned out perfectly and others of them have just chipped. I don't know if you can see that, but they've chipped horrendously um, in places. So, um, you know, take potluck on that. But um, I haven't filled them, I haven't bothered filling them yet. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stain this. Um, the idea of this using um, birch ply was um, I want to do some staining and I've got some ideas for some other projects that will be stained using birch ply and I really don't know how they'll turn out so I thought I'll build, build this um, using some birch it serves the purpose of being the storage bin um, but also I can use it as a kind of a test piece so um, I'm just going to finish um, sanding over a couple of these uh, sharp edges and I'll, I'll dust it all down and then I'll mix up some stain. So uh, stick around and see how we get on. Okay, well I've got my, I've got a container here. It's just a, an old glass uh, marmalade jar. Um, and I've got my dye concentrate and it's, it's water-based. So I've got, I've measured out 125 mils of, of water. Now this concentrate's got to be mixed up at a ratio nine to one, so nine parts water, one of, um, of dye. So what I'm going to do is, normally I'd use a syringe um, and just measure out a few, a few mils, but um, I'm just going to mix this whole batch up and I'm just going to pour the concentrate in. And so I don't waste any, because I don't like waste. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit of water into the the old container. Now those of you who are good at maths off the uh, off the cuff are probably saying, well, why is it? Why has it got 125 mils? I've used these before and I've measured them out. At one mil. And then pour the rest of the water in. Give it a little slosh around. Right, I'll put that away before I get shot for uh, using. My goodness, can you imagine how much trouble I'd get in if I got some um, red wood dye, wood stain, on a kitchen measuring? Just wouldn't be worth. Wouldn't be worth the aggro. Right. She's going to use a bit of sponge here. Um, it's just um, 25 mil, one inch upholstery. Um, seat cushion sponge, it's nothing super technical. Um, yeah, you can buy the um, these nice little foam applicator um, things on a stick and I might have some in here. Right, I haven't got the uh, thing. When the, when the spongy things get knackered, um, all I do is I rip them off and I keep the little plastic spatula thing underneath and then when I can be bothered, um, I just cut a little bit of foam new and, um, and cover it over. So what they are, they're quite expensive, um, so I need to do that. Anyway, let's see how this gets on. So I've, um, I've used this stuff before but on small turning projects, and I mean small turning projects, so I've no idea how this is going to come out. A bit nervous. In we go, in for a penny, in for a pound. Wow, that's coming up really nice. It's a bit um, it's a bit redder than I was thinking. I think it might do with a little bit more extra water on there. Hoping for, uh, might, might thin this down on another side. I might just be putting it on a bit too thick. This is going to raise the grain.
I'm actually loving this. It's going to be people going, Ugh! what's he doing? Well, I've not got a huge amount left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more red in there, but I'm going to slide, I'm going to water it down a bit, see if I can get it a much more kind of wishy-washy, just put a teeny bit in there, a bit more, I think. This stuff is expensive, don't waste it. Right, just gonna top this up with water. Oh, hang on. Look at that. I put that there about 12 months ago just for this occasion. because this is a lot more watery it's been a lot more difficult to get on luckily I put a plastic bottom in this hmm bottom No fancy wood conditioners or, um, or anything on the uh, on the wood. It's, uh, it's just straight on the birch. Yeah, leave that to dry. Probably leave it in here about an hour, and then. Um, Give it a light sanding, fingers crossed it should be good for the final finish, whatever that's going to be. Okay, well I've put two coats of um, stain on here um, and it's, I'm, I'm really liking it now, it's been drying in the sun and I was a bit dubious to start with as to how it was going to take but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this, this is really nice red, um, I think this would look good in a, like a, a kid's bedroom setting. But because it's only got stain on it, this stain needs to needs to be protected because, as you can see, it's it's just rubbing off on my um, on my hands. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a water-based um, gloss varnish on here to um, to give it a little extra protection. I'll probably give it two or three coats, but the first coat um, I suspect is probably going to make the um, the varnish go a little pinky in colour because it starts off um, white and quite milky. Um, so I'm going to seal that up and see how that goes. Do you ever find this with varnish? Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to stick that in there. See, it starts off white. It's not going to take very long to dry at all, so I'll give that, uh, I'll give that half hour or so a light rub down with some wire wool or some 320 grit, I think, and uh, keep doing that until I've got three or four coats. That can go in the bin now. Hopefully now that's all sealed in, I won't need a pink. Uh, and it actually it didn't turn that pink, so that's good. I'll pour that back in the, in the pot. Better. I can see the camera now. Um, yeah, I think that's a, um, a complete success. It fits in and I've also made it so that it's slightly shorter so I get a bit of a, a toe space whilst I'm up at the, um, the pillar drill. Hope you've enjoyed my little experiment. I've certainly learned a lot out of it and um, yeah, it's been fun. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, check down below and leave a comment. We'll see you next time.